This year's prize is about something very small that makes all the difference. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2013 Nobel Prize in Physics to Professor François Anglais at Université Libre de Bruxelles, Belgique, and Professor Peter Higgs at University of Edinburgh, United Kingdom. And the Academy citation runs for the theoretical discovery of a mechanism that contributes to our understanding of the origin of mass of subatomic particles, and which recently was confirmed through the discovery of the predicted fundamental particle by the Atlas and Semias experiments at Sand at Large Hydrogen Collider. Well, the Higgs boson was something that I've been involved with for a very long time. When I was at university, my, uh, my, my, my tutor, my theoretical physics tutor, explained to me that it didn't exist. Um, and so I've one of the reasons I've spent the last 20 years trying to prove him wrong. It was the kind of discovery um, akin to the discovery of the electron. Uh, in the moment uh, in which first rumours about hints of this uh, elusive particle came, acro came, came across the experiment, uh, everybody started to feel really excited. We were dreaming 20 years ago to make this discovery and for me personally it was very, very big satisfaction that CMS and Atlas made, finally made discovery of these Higgs bosons which we were planning to discover 20 years ago. great and important discovery, but it doesn't solve all of the problems that we have at the moment. Nobody believes that standard model is the right theory, and nobody believes that we really discover exactly standard model Higgs. So common understanding is that we discover standard model like Higgs boson. I like to think that the Higgs boson is not the last particle of the standard model that we found but is the first of uh, a new set of particles, uh, of a new theory that, uh, for which we don't know many things yet, but uh, maybe the Higgs uh, is, is really the first building block of this uh, new model and new theory. We know there's all sorts of things which are beyond our standard model. It's complete in itself, in a sense, with the discovery of the Higgs boson, but it leaves us wondering what is dark matter. We think that there's some dark matter out of the universe, that most of the universe is an undiscovered dark matter. We would expect that the Higgs boson should be interacting with that, giving it its mass, or some of its mass. And so we should see some sign of it, perhaps, in the Higgs boson decays. So far we've seen no evidence, but we're, we're looking and we're trying to explore. The Higgs boson is a link to uh, all the particles that could exist. What I would like to discover next is uh, certainly um, new particles that uh, might uh, arise from the theory that I'm trying to look for since many years at this point, which is supersymmetry. Supersymmetry is one of the several theories uh, beyond the standard model, which is uh, the main model that describes our everyday world, that has been introduced in order to explain some of the many open questions that, uh, uh, that there are. And uh, in the supersymmetry, for each standard model particle that we know, there is a new one that we don't know where it is and that we have to look very broadly. So there is a large group of of enthusiastic people that are really looking for these particles and we would really like to find one in the near future. Well the future at CERN, the immediate future at CERN uh, is, is quite clear. The LHC has been a dramatic success in its first three years at half the design energy. We're just about to take it up to the design energy and we're hoping that new discoveries will come out of it. But we, we, we do know that we will be able to, to study the Higgs boson in much more detail and look for things beyond it. So we'd like to run the LHC not just for the 10 years that was originally planned, but for 20 or 25 years, really collecting very large amounts of data, hundreds of millions of Higgs bosons, watching them in detail, and trying to see whether perhaps they sometimes turn into dark matter in their decays, or whether their interactions reveal some clues about what else lies beyond. <laughs>